the door fits in here pretty well. Got about a finger's width there, a little less than a finger's width there, so that's fine. But I still have those those gaps up in the corner. So I'll have to make make those uh, curves there to cover in in that bit right there. I just have a couple of screws popped in the door. It does open and close. Now, granted, it's only loosely held in by two screws. And the door got to come apart because we have to do a final cleaning. But uh, but that's it. That's it for now. Cool. So I'll start. Uh, I'll mock out those pieces now, and um, pop them on the bandsaw. Put them in place. Right and the left. Right here. They fit up there. Quite good. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger gaps. More spaces up there. Okay, so I'll pop out the window and pop those in place. I don't need them down on the bottom down there. Because that's all square. Well, it looks good to me. Got these four blocks popped in there. I'll put the door back in now and take a look at, at it from the uh, from the inside. No gaps in the corners. I did an unexpected thing. That wasn't on my list to do, but I figured I'd do it anyway. Uh, I wrapped the edges of where all the doors and the hatches are going with tuck tape. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that with trailer construction, but with home construction, you usually do that for, for water issues um, because where tuck tape is good for waterproofing. Now, with homes, they also usually um, sheath the exterior of a house with uh with something like a tyvek or some sort of weatherproof paper i'm not going to do that but i did do it for like the hatches then both windows and the door now i'm going to uh i got about a half an hour before i got to shut eh, about half an hour before i got to shut down so now i'm going to do the thing with the insulation that i mentioned earlier it's actually a piece of half inch silverboard and I have some carpet tape put onto it so this is sticking on both sides what I'm doing is I'm going to cut them in one inch little strips like this and stick them to say the center of each piece of insulation because this is inch and a half thick and I, I don't really want this insulation touching against the uh, aluminum on the outside i'll keep a little bit of a uh, a barrier for some airflow so i'm gonna this is one inch thick this is a half inch thick the walls are an inch and a half you know you can do the math i'm just gonna go around and put like one little dot on each location some i might do two so these are the little dots looks a little silly but they're holding in place and again is to keep the insulation off of the um aluminum for airflow sort of thing is it needed don't know but that's something that we're doing here will i stay in place i guess we'll never know once we get the uh, insulation on but that's it for today day 32 uh next day will be day 33 um so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching